Hello everybody. This video introduces how users can use the DSL SRP USB 3 for the Western Digital work on four hard drives at the same time. So as you can see from this image, users can connect two SATA hard drives and one ID hard drive in the middle at the same time to the DFL SRP hardware. So it's very easy to connect this one. This is the hard drive power cable. Yeah, it offers power from the SRP hardware to the hard drive. And the other cable is the data cable. So this transfers the data from the hard drive to the SRP hardware and then the hardware of SRP is connected by USB cable to the PC so you can operate on the hard drive by SRP hardware on the PC by our SRP software so the other cable is the AC adapter. So this one offers power to the DFL SRP hardware. So users just need to connect like this one and then you can operate on the hard drives. It's very easy. So here are three hard drives. The fourth hard drive uh, it can be one USB hard drive. Users need to connect the USB hard drive, the Western Digital USB hard drive to the PC, and then they can enter the SRP for WD software by the USB channel. Let's watch the video. Uh, let's open the WD software. Here we can see there are four channels, PACA, the IDE channel, SATA 0, SATA 1, and the USB channel. So if you want to operate on the PACA drive, you see like this one, SATA 0, SATA 1. If you connect one USB hard drive to the PC, then you can click USB, click OK. So, because the USB hard drive is connected to the PC, so the SRP hardware cannot control the power of the USB hard drive. So, after the users enter the WD software and select the USB channel, users just need to click the start icon and then select the Marvel USB. Sorry, let, let me connect the USB hard drive. Okay, here. I just connect the USB hard drive and then it detects it's detected here and click OK. Then you click auto get detail. Then click OK. Click OK. So the SRP for WD software has detected the USB hard drive details. Check modules. So through the WD software, users can read the firmware modules of this USB hard drive. Users can also edit, write the modules. For example, let's check the test the modules by ID. So let's see, they can operate on the firmware modules on this USB hard drive. They can click stop. We 
can scan the USB hard drive and see if there are some bad stickers or not. So simply we can see from here with this SRP USB 3 for WD users can work on four hard drives at the same time. And then users can use all the functions within the software to fix the USB hard drive. Anyway, for USB hard drive failures, the most common one is the slow responding problem. And users just need to go to the common repair and slow initialization fix. Click this one and, and the problem will be fixed. And then power off and power on the hard drive you can find the data is recovered. You can scan the hard drive's data error is accessible. So thank you watching uh, thank you for watching this video.